But then why is it that some people have such easy physical life? Because most of us live in the physical world. Look here. And some Shakespeare, Shakespeare prepared a drama in which Antonio alone, you know, gets into problem. The Shaila comes, he demands his spouse. Why not other people? It is the privilege of the dramatist. He can do anything with anybody. He can put a man to gallows. He can make him marry hundred girls. He can make him be jilted by everybody and he will commit suicide. Who are you to ask the dramatist? You can't tell the author Shakespeare, why have you written like that? That is why if this theory is told to the people, the man who gets the cancer will say, why the hell I am getting the cancer? That Lord, when he wrote the drama, why can't he give it to my neighbor? Now when you say, it's all due to something you did in the past, he gets a little satisfaction, the poor fellow will be able to bear it better. <laughs> Otherwise, the entire thing is a drama. Yet drama is written by him, but where is the free will man? Exactly. One Nambia, he was the chief engineer, he was an MA Oxford, he was, a, he was, a, I mean, he was an engineering graduate from Harvard or somewhere. He was coming to Bhagawan from Madras for the Municipal Corporation. The Nambiar, when he asked, when he answered like this, that everything is prescribed, he says, then why the hell am I coming here every month? There is so much of mosquito. Your food is not very famous for its taste. Here in the Taj Mahal, those days, you know, it is all the beginning here and all that. And I am having a room which is uh, having a stench. Then why should I, you see, if I am not to say everything is prescribed, then that means even my release will be fixed one day. Right. Then why the hell am I coming here and wasting my time over here? He said, no. You have got a free will. Supposing I am acting as uh, uh, Ram in a Ramayana drama. I come back and see my wife Sita has been taken away by the demon. Is it not? Supposing I laugh and say, oh, good to them. People will throw stones because they want the drama. So you have to do as per the script, dialects, action, but your mind you can keep anywhere. I can be thinking of my home, oh, my wife has got severe stomach ulcer. I told her, lady, don't wait up tonight, one o'clock, it will be one o'clock by the time it return. You have your means at ten, when is she here? She will always eat you to 1 o'clock and then she will complain of stomach ache. Oh my Lord! So we can be thinking of all these things. Mm. There is nobody to prevent you. So the mind is 100% uh, free in this land. So do all your work in this world, but keep your mind on this cosmic being, on that totality, on that self. So you have got 100% freedom. Mm. On the contrary, we are bothered about all these things. <laughs> That's exactly the same. That is the error. So, you have freedom to that extent. Only thing is we don't use that. Even that, suppose you are using, I don't know whether I am leaping properly, or the audience appreciating. Mm -hmm. So, if you are going to be involved in the uh, drama only, so when can you come out of that? We have identified ourselves with this soul and I have forgotten that I am Shantananda while acting. <coughs> and even if the drama is about the end, I put my hand on the shoulders of Sita and say, let us go to Ayodhya. She slaps me because the drama is over. So that is what the world is giving you because you identify yourself with the world. So it is slapping you. But even then you are not prepared to use. <laughs> See, God gives you several methods of getting up. Inside the dream, He brings, He gives you some exit doors through which you can get to yourself awakened. Exit doors are there. The exit doors from hell, where will it be placed? It will be inside the hell. But it's the exit door outside. So similarly, the exit door is also for to the imagination. But definitely you can get out of that dream. Supposing inside that dream I sit inside a plane, aeroplane. The moment I sat down, it make a whirring sound. For a minute, my mind came out of the dream. Then what will happen? The dream will go away. 
I love him. So what he does is sometimes he gives certain small shocks down below. But we are not prepared to heal. Big shocks, yes. Sometimes what happens, we go under. We don't try to come up, come out of it. You get depression, you go under it, you are not prepared to come out of it. Ah, doesn't matter. I'll stand on my foot once again. That's what happens. That's why people suffer. Number one, we take your dream as a reality. First of all, take it as a dream. So in the dream, whatever good thing comes, say a beautiful day, this was prepared. When I say, I know this is a dream, will I go and ask her, what is the recipe? It is a dream, the sweet, why are you not bothered about it? It's not a real sweet. <laughs> but everything you think is real, my wife is real, my child is real, my office is real. My book is real, everything is real. When somebody says, Swamiji, you are wonderful, that, that's real. That is why completely ignore, you try to withdraw yourself. See, when a dream is going on, how to stop the dream and wake up? You don't know how to wake up. Do you know when the dream is going on suddenly to stop it? Oh, please, let me get up. Can you tell? Sometimes it happens like that. That happens automatically. It's not out of your dream. No. Right? Yes. So you don't know the key to shut the door to the dream. So you analyze why yet all the dream is going on. That dream is going on. In the dream, you created so many objects. You created a house. You created a tree outside it. You created a man who came with an axe, he is trying to cut it. By that time, you have established a relationship. This tree is mine. You go and ask, hey, who are you to cut it? You didn't take anybody's permission. And now the problem will start. That fellow will give you one hit. Go to the court of law. This is what is the plan. See, you established unnecessary relationship. You said, this is my house. You said, this is my son. You said, this is my office. This is my room. So you establish relation with all the dream objects. So and you are interested in each one's welfare. Your first son, your second son, your father, your mother, uh, all these things, including the small cough and the small uh, uh, puppy we have. So you got so much interest. In. So even if you are interested in one goal, the other one is enough to entangle you in the world. How many people, everything does, they are keeping their kita. Oh, you see, how are you? They, that they go, who thinks of God? Who thinks of something else? So that is the only actually. So slowly, you yourself try to withdraw your interest of things. Do whatever is to be done, because the drama has to go. So do whatever is to be done. Don't keep your mind in it. Mind you keep in the Lord. Mind you keep in nothing at least. Don't think of anything else, only let it happen. Keep it absolutely thoughtless. Either let it be thoughtless or let it concentrate on one night. You may call it God, you may call it self, whatever it is. You keep it on this. Then you need to. The problem is the mind has been overshadowed by thousands of births of being entangled with one thing or another. Look the here, there is no rebirth at all. This bulb has become fused. What do you do? Then? Your mind without your mind, huh? You put a new one. You put a new one. Is it not? Now, will you call it a rebirth? How will you call it? Replace. Replace. That's right. Here also the body is replaced. You see, but the question is, that's what is going on. You are not worrying about the terminology. <laughs> see, from the bulb point of view, if you look at it, yep, another bulb has come. Has the electricity changed? So, you replace this bulb, but inside it is the same, it is the same energy which is always there. So, the one who looked at the bulb, he says there is a rebirth. The one who looked at the soul, he said there is no rebirth. So, where is the quarrel? It's always the same. It's always the same. So, actually, as I said, there is nothing called the Vasana. There is nothing called the carrying over of, oh, this is all due to my vasana. It is only a handle for you now. That is all. You need something? Oh, this is my vasana. <laughs> That's all. 
there's nothing like a Vasra. The entire thing is in imagination. In one second, if you decide now, it is all in imagination. I, have, I got nothing to do with everything in the mind. In one second, you can tell that. Nothing is required. No big lifting, no meditation for hours together, no pranayam, no breathing distinct, no pujas for a hundred hours. Nothing is required. But that conviction that the, there is no word, only I am there, the word is my own perception, it's all part of my own imagination. I alone exist, I am the only reality, that amrit is the only reality, my being is the only reality. This is not an intellectual understanding. Every cell inside you has got its own life. There are lakhs of cells inside the body. Let each cell be convinced 100% that I am that, that you are that. 